Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. My throat is hurting me and <clears throat> I apologize for that. <clears throat> Uh, a Muslim he posted a comment saying uh, he's posting actually a video and the video is uh, asking who is the author of the Quran <laughs> and this is a very good question you know and the poor Muslim he make a graphic and you know uh, there is a three options either Allah or Muhammad or someone else or four options and let us study each one of them and then if it's Muhammad look at the style <laughs> so I said to myself instead of you know maybe this person he posts his video just you know to get him more view I mean who are you even to explain the Quran when you do not know even how to say your prophet name correctly when a Muslim he says, who is the author of the Quran? <clears throat> and actually this is what uh, the name of this video of Zakir Naik. Who is the author of the Quran? Now, you know, we can come to many conclusion as much as we want. But me personally, I will say whoever is the author is an idiot. <clears throat> whoever is the author, he is an idiot. And we can prove it. When the Quran claimed to be from God, and then the Muslim they try to make it look like it is something superior and then a little study for what they claim it is superior you will find that everything they say is absolutely a fraud and I will give you an example <clears throat> this is the video of uh, Zuzu very famous Zuzu you know Zuzu is the one who can refute all the atheists actually Zuzu he decided to say thank you to the atheists for thinking I mean, look at this. Zuzu saying to the atheist, thank you. Yeah, brother. Why? Because they are thinking. They start thinking. It's not easy to be an atheist and you think. But he does not agree that the God, his parents are worshipping, that they can be such a God. So he disagrees in the existence of God. Most of the atheists, they think that science is ultimate. Nowadays, this is the age of science and technology, and they feel that science is ultimate. And if you ask any atheist, that suppose there is an equipment, there is a gadget, which no one in the world has ever seen, no one has heard of, and if that gadget is brought in front of this atheist and the question is asked that who will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this gadget, the mechanism of this equipment? The atheist will reply that it will be the creator. Some may say the manufacturer, some may say the maker. Some may say the inventor, some may say the producer. Whatever they say, it will be somewhat similar. Either it will be the creator, the manufacturer, the maker, it will be the inventor, it will be somewhat similar. Don't grapple with the words, just keep that answer at the back of your mind. Ask him the question that how did our universe come into existence? Okay, now, you know, this is just garbage talk. And then he say, I want to say thank you to the atheist. I say thank you to the atheist. For they are thinking, they start thinking, you know, like finally the atheists, they start thinking. Now, by the way, I'm not here to defend the atheists. I mean, the atheist is more idiot than, than Muhammad himself. However, Zakir Naik, he decided to prove to them that Allah is God. And, you know, how? Okay, how Allah is God? 
Well, you know, who is the first one who will know how they, this gadget is made? The manufacturer, the creator, okay. And who is that? For sure, it's Allah. How is that happen? How you can prove that to us, Zakura? Go ahead. They call it as the Big Bang. When we ask the atheist, that when did you come to know about this creation of the universe, the Big Bang? So he will tell you, we came to know recently, 30 years back, 40 years back. I tell him that this information about the creation of the universe is mentioned in this book, the glorious Quran, 1400 years ago. Stop! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Where, where, where it mentioned the Big Bang in the Quran? <laughs> in a nutshell. It's mentioned in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. Awalam yaral lazina kafaru. Do not the unbelievers see. Anna samawati wal arda. Kaan tarat kan fustakna huma. That the heavens and the earth, they were joined together and we clove them asunder. You idiot, you stupid, you donkey. He just said to you, the earth and the heaven, they used to be together. This is what the Big Bang is. The Big Bang says there was earth and there was heaven and they were stitches together and then we separate them idiot secondly it says don't they see it is something they see this is something they can see 1400 years ago not a discovery let us go to the verse and see those idiots how we laugh at them this is the verse in the front of you <clears throat> read carefully and laugh with me <laughs> Don't the disbelievers know? Look what? I thought it's a discovery. He just said it's a discovery. I mean, the idiot, he do not know how to read. You just said it's a discovery. And who is the one who knows? The disbelievers. That means they know or they knew before Muhammad. He said this. Okay. <laughs> so what they knew? They knew that the earth and the heaven, they used to be together and uh, uh, one united peace. Is that what the Big Bang was? There was earth and there was heaven. And are we parted from each other now? Is the earth is parted from the space? Or we are inside the space? So this is the most stupid, silly, desperate, bankrupt religion where they are finding discoveries and their the twelfth seat. And just to show you how easy to get them busted, according to the Quran, I mean the yellow pages of Muhammad, <clears throat> the earth first was created, not the, the space. Which one was created first? Sorry, my keyboard sometimes is not functioning. I have to type it twice. I need to buy a new one. years ago. And all those Muslims like, wow. like it's like somebody sitting in the bathroom. Like, it's coming. You idiot. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah created everything in earth first and then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. There was no sky. And even the sky which is in the smoke, is that, sorry, the smoke which is in the sky, <laughs> which is there, it's not there, which is funny. It was because Allah was cooking in earth. Read carefully and laugh with me. He it is who created for you all that on earth. Like what? Then he stawa, like stawa, the put between bracket, he rose over. <laughs> I love it when Allah he rose over. <laughs> That's mean Allah was in the earth. So why Muslim they say Allah cannot be inside his creation? Allah rose over from where to where? Between what? Silly, stupid cult. So it didn't ever that he rose over toward the heaven. Like hold on. But there was no heaven. He rose toward the heaven and he made them seven heavens. So after Allah finished the earth, he made seven heaven. Let us go to the different verse. This is a chapter two, verse number 
two. Oh boy. We spoke about this before, by the way. I mean, but it just, you know, just because this guy, he posed this video and I said, let's have some comedy. People are desperate for, because of, uh, you know, these days, like, you know, illness and sickness and potato and tomato. So brother, look at this, brother, look at this. Remember the first verse we showed you, it says, don't the believers see, don't the believe, disbelievers know. So it's something they know, it's not a discovery. If it's a discovery, it's a, it shouldn't say, have those who disbelieve known, actually in Arabic it says, don't they see, alam yura, if you change the translator, because as you know, Islamic translation is like shish kebab. Each one of them, he have his own hummus. So let's go to Yusuf Ali and see the translation of Yusuf Ali. I mean the hummus of Yusuf Ali. See, in the translation of Yusuf Ali, brother, it says, don't the believer see? It is something we can see. Did anyone even see the Big Bang? And it's a theory. It's not even a fact, you idiot. It's a bunch of idiots. They come with it. And obviously, it is stupid because the Big Bang supposedly there was nothing. But something exploded. So how there was nothing and something explode? If there's nothing, there's nothing. And as long as the Muslims they believe in the Big Bang, that's when everything Allah He said in the Quran is a lie. Read carefully. You see, I'm using their evidence. According to the Quran, it says in chapter 41, verse number 9. Uh, okay, Muhammad, tell them, Muhammad. Uh, قل, uh, do verily the disbelievers in the believe in him who created the earth in two days? Is that what the Big Bang says? The Big Bang says that the earth is created in two days. When they asked Zachary Naik about this question, he said, Brother Tata, when the Quran says the earth and the heaven created six days, six days means six period. Like, what the heck? Six days means six period. A six period? Are you sure? Abdul, are you sure? You can find the video, I don't want to look for it actually, you can search for it. He said it's six period. Okay, uh, 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 Zakar Naik, he knew what he's talking about, it's six period, it's not six days. I mean, come on, this is Zuzu, and Zuzu Uzu, he know what he's talking about. I know now where the Israeli, they get their gun name uh, Uzu, from Zuzu. It's clear, like, like, like light. Look what Muhammad, he said. Big bang, huh? Hmm. Obviously, Muhammad, he did not know what Allah he did. Zakir, Zuzu, he knew. Zuzu, he knew everything. You know? Let us see. Uh, read with me. Hey, are you there, Zuzu? Do we have any Zuzu in that, in the, you know? So this is how you prove to us that the Quran fit with the science. So now Zakarnaik Ashri and all the Muslims are in trouble because they agree with the Big Bang. They cannot say we deny it. They cannot say it's a lie. They cannot say we don't approve it. No, they are using it to prove that they are right, which means it must be right for them. Look what their prophet he said. Allah, the exalted, the glorious, created the clay in Saturday. Ah, big Bang. I mean, do you see the Big Bang? Be my witness. Hey, Zachary Naik, but your prophet, he have different opinion about how things is created. Christopher, first of all, your English is funny. And people don't listen to you. And look how many subscribers I have, and look how many subscribers I have. Uh, well, you get the point there. I mean, you have a lot of more subscribers, but they are idiots. It doesn't matter. I have Muhammad in my side. Is Muhammad on your side? First of all, my brother Muhammad, he used to say stupid things. And he was bewitched. And he was bewitched. Ah, bewitched. Ah. So because he was bewitched, he says stupid things. I agree with you. You get the point there, Zachary. Exactly. 
And if the prophet he said so, we don't agree with him. We agree only with the scientific of the, the, the Big Bang. So the prophet was wrong? Exactly. Oh, man. Okay. So you know what the Quran mean and you know how to explain things, but your prophet was an idiot. Exactly, great prophet. Secondly, respect my prophet. It's me, it's not me who is saying, it's you who keeps saying exactly. I say, did you say exactly? I wasn't listening. You wasn't listening? Okay, let me repeat again. <laughs> So Allah the glorious, the exalted, hmm? he created the clay in Saturday, and he created the mountains in Sunday, brother, and he created the trees on Monday, and he created things in tidal labor in Tuesday, and he created the light in Wednesday. And by the way, go and watch uh, Ahmad Dida, the, the, the idiot, the other idiot. He's dead now. He was making fun of the error of the Bible. He says, <laughs> who is going to believe? Who's going to believe that there is earth exists, but there is no light? And God, He created the light in four day. Like what? In one day. He said specifically, one day. Go watch him. He was making fun of his stupid prophet. So those ignorant donkeys who claim to be scholars or Muslims, they wave hands for them and they worship them. They are really great help for us to expose this cult. And he caused the animals to spread in, in, in Thursday. And he created Adam, bees be upon him, and, and, and Friday afternoon. <laughs> Big bang, huh? <laughs> Friday afternoon. Allah created Adam. Friday afternoon, this is the Big Bang. And do you see how the Big Bang working good? Can he now say this is a period? It's a Friday afternoon. For sure, Friday afternoon. I mean, come on, the Jews will close on Saturday. <laughs> and, the, and the last creation of the last hour, the hour of Friday. In the last hour, the Big Bang says that, the, you know, in hours, 24 hours. And then, brother, he created him, i.e., between afternoon and night. That's deep. That's deep. And by the way, this is why the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا وَكَانَ what? الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا Like what? What does that mean? <laughs> the human being was ever hasty. <laughs> what, what happened? What, what happened? When Allah was creating Adam, like come on, this keyboard is acting crazy. Uh, I have to hit the same bomb every time. Look, it's not working. I don't know what happened. Now it's working. Okay. Wakana al insan ajula. Okay, what happened, brother? What happened, brother? When Allah He created Adam, and Allah He breathed into His soul. Adam looked up to Allah and he said to him, Finish me before the sunset. Like, what the heck? Are you serious? Yes, brother. Adam said to Allah, Finish me before the sunset. Look how slow is Allah. I mean, I'm so disappointed. Adam is worried, like you eat it, finish me. Come on, the sun set. The sun set? Okay, now some, some Mohammedan, they might say, a Christian prince is lying to you. There's no way it says the sun set, okay? Okay, let us see. Let us see. No way it says the sun set. No way, no way, brother. Okay. Let us see. Where is the tafsir? Here we go. Let us go. Tafsir. All right. Tafsir, the yellow pages of Muhammad. Chapter 17, verse number 11. <clears throat> Chapter 17. Oh, 
Okay, verse number 11. Takbir. <laughs> Christian Rens is lying. Where is your reference? Okay, I'm showing you a reference. Okay, this is not reference. This is Ibn Kathir. And everybody knows that Ibn Kathir, he's a Hindu. What? Ibn Kathir is a Hindu? Yes. Everybody knows that Ibn Kathir is a Hindu. And he's working for the Indian government. And specifically, he worked for the Prime Minister Modi. Modi? Okay. Look at Ibn Kathir says what the Prophet says. Salman al Farisi and Ibn Abbas, they mentioned the story of Adam, and for sure they learned from their Prophet. When he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathing to him, <laughs> it entered his body from his head downward. Look at this. Look like Allah was doing a French kiss. Okay, hold on, Muslims. Allah, he breathed into Adam from his head? Like what? Are you serious? Yes, brother. Science. Okay. And look, the breath go downward, not upward. I mean, think about it here. This, this is the, this is the, the graffiti, you know, the graffiti like graffiti, like you know, it, that's it's science. The, now the Muslim they will say uh, Allah is the one who made the Newton and Einstein exist. Okay, so when it reached his brain, he sneezed. This is true. Like when you saw, you know, you see, I remember when I was like, I wasn't, I mean, I was very little. I mean, it was like two, two, two you know, I mean, you know, Allah was making me now. So, and then Allah, he breathed and hachoo, and I sneeze. And I remember, you know, when I sneeze, like everybody around me in the hospital, they, they fly from the window, like 20 people die. You know, and maybe 70, 80 people injured because this was a sneeze coming from Allah. And remember, by the way, Allah loves those who sneeze and hate those who do yawning. That's what the Prophet said. So, and okay, uh, when he uh, before he uh, uh, get up, his soul reached his feet. And when his soul breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed at soul. And he said, Alhamdulillah, look at this, Adam, he speak Arabic. I mean, can you believe it? There was no Arabic at that time, but this guy is well educated. He speak Arabic. He's born to speak Arabic. The first sentence, Adam, he said, he did not say mama. For sure, no, there's no mama for him. He did not say baba. No, he didn't have a baba, you idiot. He said, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> oh boy okay and then Allah look this guy he is born he know Allah I mean, that's it. You know, it's, it's needs al Alhamdulillah. And Allah, he said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you. Adam, look, what the heck? Allah saying to Adam, May your Lord have mercy on you. Who is his Lord? I mean, this story is true, by the way. This is a true story. I mean, I, we had Muhammad have witnesses. When it reached his eyes, he opened them, and when he reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. Look at this. Imagine yourself. Like you feel like you feel your foot is numb. Like numb, 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 numb. You know, like numb, numb, numb. Okay. Now, and then he wanted to get up before it reached his feet. Look at the situation. Look, brother, at how the, the complex of the situation. All of us now, we have to stand up and show respect to our grandfather, Adam. Look at his suffering now. Allah is making him, creating him, and he is now, he, he's not in drugs. He see what's happening. He feel it. But Allah is not finished yet. So he wanted to get up before it reached his feet. But he could not. Man, how sad. Our grandfather Adam, he just noticed he cannot walk. And he said to himself, what the heck? What's going on? 
What is missing? Maybe there's a fuse is burned. Maybe the battery is like Christian Prince car battery. You know, he need to jump it every few days. I mean, what the heck? So he said, Oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. What? Make it happen. Before. Hey, hey Muslims, hey, Muslims, can you ask your prophet? How this guy, he is just, he is in the process of making. How he knew that there's a night is coming. How he knew that there's a sunset. Any Muhammadan in the bushes, uh, he's expert with the Big Bang. This is the Big Bang. This is the Big Bang. And they make a video, who is the author of the Quran? Brother, it's impossible for a human being to come with such a book. Absolutely. I mean, you have to be a certified donkey, not, not certified a human being, to come with this book. There, there's no way, brother, a human being can come with this book. I, I agree. You know, actually, you know, we, as an Arab person, I have to tell you a lot of things about us. First of all, you know, the word genius is coming from us because we are genie. And when you say us, you have to say yes. This is why the word genius came like gen genie, yes. You know, I mean, look at this. Who can come with this except our, you know, our grandfather is the Arab the Prophet Muhammad. And Zakir Naik is speaking about the Big Bang. And not only that, the Quran even messed up. In one chapter says the earth was created first, in different chapter says the heaven was created first. But all Muslims agree that the earth was created first. Just to show you. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, bad boys, bad boys? Excuse my throat is not in good situation. <clears throat> okay how we can prove that the earth was created first with confirmation from Muslims how we can prove that is it really hard I mean I don't know what do you think guys is it hard to prove it who think it's very easy to prove it who think it's not easy to prove it okay if you think it's easy to prove it uh, but one if you think it's impossible but one too <laughs> I trick you I trick you like Allah <laughs> chapter 2 verse 29 okay let us go chapter 2 verse number 29 all right this is tafsir zalalain as Zalalain himself, a brother, is giving us tafsir. Okay, I wonder how many boogers around his chair when he was writing this tafsir. He must be thinking so deep. Yeah, this is how they do it, deep thinking, you know, like they dig it, dig it, dig it, and they throw it. And look at this, brother. He, it is who created for you, like he who. They say to you, Allah, he speak about himself, he say he. <laughs> Shafranidza. The guy is speaking to who? Before, before, why does why, why he doesn't say it's I? It is he who created. Like who he? The one who's talking is Allah. He says it is he. Let it go. Which is a proof again that the guy who wrote the Quran is an idiot. He forgot to switch. So it is he who created for you the earth and that the earth and all that is in it uh, that you may benefit from them. Uh, okay. Uh huh. And learn lessons from it. Then, after creating the earth, he turned and he made his object heaven. He leveled them, brother. Is it beautiful interpretation? If you don't like this interpretation, I will give you the interpretation of the prophet cousin. This is the highest. I mean, this is the highest idiot. Allah then produced uh, to mention, sorry, proceed to mention his blessing to them. He's saying, he is who created for you 
he made servant, servant for you all that on earth of the best beast on planet and plant sorry and other things as a blessing to him then he turned to the heaven <laughs> No oh boy. Shall we go to Ibn Kathir? Just to fill the and get the whole image. Okay, chapter two, verse number twenty-nine. Ibn Kathir. And supposedly I'm not going to stay long, okay? All right. After Allah mentioned the proofs of his creation. This is the proofs, by the way. This is Allah debating in the stage. <laughs> you see how he prove it? Okay, let me let me prove to you that I am the one who created the moon. Don't you see how is the moon created by me? And like everybody now, like astonished, like wow. He just to prove it. <laughs> All right. And they can witness in themselves as a proof of that. If, 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 how they can witness. Muhammad, he spoke 1400 years ago to the Arab, and they can witness that Allah is. Look at this witnessing. Okay, he is created for you that all in earth. Then he went and he made them seven heaven. Okay. Uh, and he made them seven heaven. Okay, uh, let's see. All right. And then he called for us again at the verse in the Quran. Do really the disbelievers they disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and revived? Blah 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 blah. Um, this ayat indicate that Allah started the creation by creation the earth. Then he made the seven the heaven. Do you see it? This is the Big Bang. Hey, Muslim, this is the Big Bang. Why why you lie to people? Why you lie to that? I mean, the atheists, they will laugh at you. They will die laughing. If I go to, you know, more like in this video of Zach and Nag, I mean, what, what this guy here? Why, why we need to lie in order to prove our belief? The, the serious question now, as long as we prove that this is all is a, is a fraud, why they lie? Brother and sister, do you know that the Quran is the only book who proved that the earth is not flat? What? The Quran did that? Go, Zakir. Zuzu. It was in 1577 when Sir Francis Drake, he sailed around the earth that he proved that the earth was spherical. What you came to know in 1577 is already mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago in Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, where it's mentioned, what are the bad azalika dahaha. And thereafter, we have made the earth egg shaped. The Arabic word dahaha, one of its meaning is an expanse, and the earth is an expanse. The other meaning is derived from the Arabic word duya, which means an egg. <laughs> and we know... <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, I want you to go to every single dictionary in Arabic. You will not find what this idiot he is saying. It is actually the opposite. He made it flat. Daha is an action which means it's a you know it's a verb it's not even description the ha ha he made it flat and if you go right now and read all the islamic translation and he will say to you in the shape of an egg that the earth on which we live is not completely round like a ball it is flattened from the pole and bulging from the center it is geospherical in shape
I cannot believe that this donkey is in this stage. I want everybody, including every Muslim, to go and read every interpretation for this verse. And find me one, just one, says what he is saying. All of them, they say flat. I want you, in the same time, to go to every translation of the Quran and find me where any of them says that he made it like an egg. It says the opposite. But just to show you how stupid this guy, isn't it him who he just said that he believed in the Big Bang? So how we are quoting this stupid verse? This is what the Big Bangs teach. If we change every single translation, we will not find anywhere it says what this guy said. And then you need to ask yourself, okay, why the Muslim don't say what he just said? I mean, why they are hiding it if this is what it is? And look at the lies when they say he expanded the earth. I mean, how you can expand the earth? False translation. He made the earth flat. So not a single translation say what he said because this is a lie. This is absolutely false. Not anyone in the world he would agree with this. It's a joke. Actually, the first one who come with this is a kid who was trying to refute me in YouTube. And this stupid Zach and Nag, he took it. And if we go and read the interpretation for this verse, we will see it says clearly, he made it a flat. Let us go. This is a chapter 79, verse number 30. 79. Why the Arab, why the scholars, why the cousin of Muhammad? Why Muhammad did not understand the Quran correctly, but Zakir Naik, he knew the Arabic. But then he know he didn't speak Arabic. <laughs> brother the Quran said uh, you know uh, you know like uh, the Quran says oh, brother uh, okay yeah true story let us see what the real scholars they say this is the cousin of Muhammad and after he spread the earth even then he spread it on water he spread the earth. He did not make it in the shape of an egg, you idiot. He made it like a carpet. Let us go to Ajlalain. You will see the word flat, literally. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. Why none of the Islamic scholar he come with the shape of an egg and etc.? Because this is not the Arabic word for such a thing. This guy is an idiot, he's a donkey, and anyone who speaks Arabic, he can get him busted. And not only that, I challenge anyone, I challenge any Muslim to show me one Islamic interpretation made by a scholar, not people on YouTube, saying what this guy said. Here we go, this is a Jalalain, this is Ibn Abbas, let us go to Ibn Kathir. What about Ibn Kathir? Do Ibn Kathir says that this word mean? Uh, the earth he make it like a ball by the way remember Ibn Kathir is a person who came 800 years after Muhammad which mean way more educated than those ignorant and he was like today he is was a youtuber in his time so he was making books to defend Islam not to prove it not, not to explain Islam actually <clears throat> and don't forget that uh, here in chapter 79 we have a contradiction for chapter number 41 if you don't understand what I'm saying just to print the two chapters and try to write the uh, the, the creation in the order how which one was created first I write you right away you will see that the one who wrote the Quran is li literally an idiot What? In Ibn Kathir, there's 
What? Did they skip those uh, verses? Or maybe here. Read carefully with me. <laughs> it already been mentioned previously in Surat Hamim as Sajda that the earth was created before the heaven. Was it created? Do you see it? The Big Bang, huh? Hey Muslim, do you see it? But it was only spread out after the creation of the heaven. Do you see spread out? Somebody teach Ibn Kathir some Arabic for the sake of the shin of Allah. So the word of flat suddenly become a shape of an egg. What a big scam. I mean, we can keep going. Uh, just to make it simple, you know, the Quran is a book of history too. Forget about the Big Bang. I mean, who is who in the world come with a name like this? Zul Qurnayn, the man, the the, uh, 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 the the one with the two horn, not the man. We do not know if he's a man or not. Maybe it's a cow. Any Muslim can tell me who, what is that? Is that a human? Because I never heard that a human he have two horn. Any Muslim can tell me? Who is this guy, Dil Qarnayn, not Dil Qarnayn? Who is this? this is, is that a human? It's a cow? Look, they don't even translate the, 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 the they keep it, they think it's a name. Look, look, look. They did not translate, they said Dil Qarnayn. But this is the, it's mean, the, the one with the two horn. Who is that? Is that a human? Is that a beast? So there's a there's a there's a creature, he has two horn, and by the way, according to this story here, according to the Muslim story, science, science, brother, this person he believed in Allah and he came to his people and he told them to believe in Allah. They hit him with the hammer in his head. Boing, he died. Before he died, a horn came in his head. Allah resurrected him, brother. So now he have one horn. He came again to his people to teach them about Islam and Allah. They hit him again in the hammer in the other side of his head. Boing. And then another horn come from his head. And Allah resurrected him again. Hey Muslims, am I making up stories or this is what it says in your books? Science, huh? And this person, he found where the sun set, brother. Where the sun set, brother? He found it sitting in a spring of murky water. You are Zakir Naik, how in the world the Quran says such a thing? The sun is set in the murky water. He said to you, brother, Zitar, this is according to the perspective of Durkarim. Like, what the heck? What it says that in the verse? In the verse, the, 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 the Jewish they challenged Muhammad to tell them about a prophet. His name is Zuqurnayn, the tricked him, the stupid, he believed it, he thought he's a prophet. This is Alexander the Great. He wore a hat, have two horn, donkey. Muhammad, he made him a prophet. He made him a Muslim prophet. But all of us, we knew that this guy is a bisexual. And he's a pagan. So brother and sister, they are asking the Prophet about Zulkarnayn. I will tell you about him who is talking to Allah. We really established for him. Allah is giving the power. Allah he sent him in a mission. He's a Muslim. On earth, and we gave him the ways and the means, all ends, all ends, that's it. One such a way he followed. Until when he reached the city of the sun, the city in place of the sun. He found it set in a spring of murky water. Yazak and he says, 
This is according to the prospection of uh, whatever, whatever. The sound is bad. Is my sound, guys, is bad? Is my microphone is bad? Maybe because the fan is on. Who don't ha who have a problem with my voice? Hello. If you have a problem with my voice, I'm going to make for you some noise. Hello. Yeah, I think you are the only one who have a problem. So here is the science again, and they try to find an excuse, but Muhammad always he got them busted. If we go to the hadith, we will find Muhammad explained this verse. Did this guy he thought this is what the verse saying, or he saw and Allah reporting what he saw? We go to the hadith, we find Muhammad. He agreed that this is where the sun set. Read carefully. Not Zakir Naik, not those potatoes and those idiots. Muhammad, he says, this is a, a companion of Muhammad. His name, the father of the ants, Abu Dhar. I was sitting behind the, the, the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water. So they lie and they say, this is how he thought. It's, uh, it says, Zakir Naik says, when you see the thumb, go in the sea. You think the sun is going in the sea. You eat it. It says a spring of murky water. Spring, spring. Do you see the word sea in the, in the verse in the Quran? Anywhere it says sea. What's wrong with you? Where we can find the word sea? I mean, uh, uh, ocean. Anywhere? It says a spring, a spring, a spring. Idiot. I'm not going to keep you longer. Just I wanted to share with you some science. And who is the author of the Quran? The answer of a Christian prince. For who is the author of the Quran? He is a certified idiot ignorant in history who he think Mary she is sister of Aaron who he think that Mary she is the daughter of Amron which is the father of Moses who he think her man is was exist in the time in the time of the Pharaoh who he think that Pharaoh is a name of the king of Egypt and this is the name of his family who he think that the sun set in murky water who he think that the sperm coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs who he think that the earth is a flat who he think and he think and he think but he think as an idiot so my answer for the claim your God is an idiot and it doesn't matter who is the author of the Quran whoever it is he is a certified idiot in every mean of the word idiot I think you should be proud about such an idiot with this I want to say thank you for being here May the Lord bless you, and we will try to be back soon, live on air. Don't forget, you can subscribe to our channel always, and you can unsubscribe if you don't like it, which is very good, doesn't hurt me. However, if you like to be updated about when we go, because usually YouTube don't send a notification, I don't know why, you figure it out. People don't notice that I am live on air until almost we are done. So, subscribe to our Patreon. And uh, 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 there is a there is a guy he gave me a link. Hold on. There is a guy who is making a video, a cartoon, and I I promised him to share his cartoon with you. So you can go to his channel and support him. He is trying his best. To make a cartoon and I know those cartoons they take a lot of work by the way those cartoons are not easy to make uh, so this is the link for this cartoon I don't know if it work let me know support this person subscribe to him and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and we found finally the author of the Quran it is mr. bean the idiot. His name is Allah. He is the one who sent the man with the two horn to find where the sun set. And he found where the sun rise to. 
And then he built a dam between the Gog and Magog and the human being. And now Gog and Magog, they cannot come to us because they are behind the dam. And until we find the dam, I see you in Amsterdam. Take care. Take beer. <laughs> see ya. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh boy. What a stupid religion. It's not even good for recycling. Oh, the microphone is on. <laughs>